Aaron Masterson, this should be a real outstanding contest. I've been looking forward to this one as we have the three extras in date return of Shane Hollister. Quite frankly, he's an incredible athlete, one of the top junior heavyweights in the world today, and making his return here to 3X Wrestling. He looks to be in great shape here. Absolutely. He's got a tough challenge ahead of him, taking on the rock star, Jimmy Rockwell. This should be a wild one. I'm fired up. I'm excited. As you remember, Shane Hollister recently had a leg injury as uh, as recently as a couple of years ago. Yes. Similar to the one Jeremy Wyatt has. So. Off and on here at 3X Wrestling, he's had some real tremendous runs. Uh, and we actually haven't seen a lot of them since that leg injury happened. That was uh, about two years ago now. But let's send it back to Daryl Moon to make the proper introduction of the opponent. Jimmy Rockwell, one of the top all-around competitors in 3X Wrestling. You've said it before, he's held a title for more than half of his career. Yes. We'll see if he can continue to do that tonight. He has a shot at the heavyweight title, his first in the gauntlet for the gold. Yes, he, that is the elusive title. He has never won the heavyweight championship here in 3X Wrestling. But he indicated last month after that great battle with Ricky Kwong that it's his time. He said, it's my time, indicated he wants the strap to get him in this headlock predicament. It seems to be the area that Jimmy wants to work on here. Nice headlock takeover right in the center of the ring. As you see, Hollister trying to keep his shoulder now. up. Referee Travis Peterson has the duties here. This should be a fast-paced one. Hey, you gotta I would imagine at some point, but this is, you know, certainly a nice this technical pick battle. Up. You gotta believe that the winner of this match is gonna have a lot of momentum going into the night's gauntlet for the oh, gold. Oh, absolutely. Well, not only that, I think it put him in prime position uh, beyond the gauntlet, unless one of them wins the gauntlet, of course, uh, for pure wrestling or heavyweight titles. Look at that sharp elbow by Hollister. Well, and there yeah, it is, that's the strikes. Big European uppercut. This is what I was talking about. Right now, he's taking his time. I think that's a good There's idea. Whip. It's Jimmy Rockwell. It's a, this is the clothesline. This is a, wow, wild one. Oh! Oh, but now the things have picked up. Big spinning heel kick. Look at the execution. One of the heel right on the face of Shane Hollister. You know, those spinning heel kicks, he, sometimes the attacker can spin so wildly, it doesn't quite work out, but that was perfect. Yeah, yeah well placed there. This is what I'm talking about. Rockwell gets things going, and the crowd really gets behind Hollister's him. Hollister's calling for a timeout. Unfortunately, there are no timeouts in wrestling. To be a dive. Oh, oh, he faked it, though. He faked the dive because Hollister oh, got him. Sa oh, wow. Savvy move by Shane Hollister. Look at that. Oh, Tope over the ropes. Now showing up for the crowd there. Oh, what a knee drop right to the back of the skull. Here's an impressive start for Hollister. Suddenly picking things up. An incredible three series of moves there. Three move series, excuse me. And with a, that could possibly have caused a concussion there, which really would make Rockwell miss the gauntlet for the goal. It really could. Our uh, medical staff will have to check on that when he makes his way to the back after this contest. Oh! Certainly didn't make any fans on that one. Yeah, well, the fans really wanted to see a chop. They were ready for it, and he decided, nope, you're not getting a chop tonight. Shoulder blocks now. Snap mare. Oh, what a drop kick. Now notice even though Hollister is using these high-paced style moves, he's still taking his time between each he one. Is. This is 
this is the pace of the match I expected him to set up. I mean, Shane Hollister's messing around, but Shane Hollister's not a guy you want to mess around with. Well, that's for Jimmy sure. Rockwell. But, you know, really, now that I make that point, Shane Hollister's taking a lot of time in between these attacks. He's getting a little cocky here. Well, I, I, it might be a little cocky, but I think it's partially strategy. Normally, his MO is to go extremely fast, but Jimmy Rockwell could... Definitely and win a high face match. That. Look at that, Shane Hollister. Oh, leg Larry. Good night, Betsy. Right across the mouth. Look at that, moonwalking. Oh, come on. Well, this I don't Where's agree the with. Sportsmanship? That's what it Look causes. That. You got to watch your. Oh. When you go for a pin, you need to make sure you're covering your guy because he can quickly slip out like that. A cocky a style pin. Four or five minutes here for Jimmy Rocco. 15 minute time limit is in effect here. See, and once again, the cocky style pin. I want you to look back in wrestling history. How many guys actually beat their opponent making pins like that? I would say percentage wise, 0.5%. If that. 0.5, that, that's probably exactly right. I mean, so I can think of that. a few. Spine very tingling few. kick there. Oh, big leg drop. And let's just say those cocky pins only work when you're fighting an opponent, not the caliber of Jimmy Rockwell, that's for sure. Maybe against some no-name from nowhere. Crowd firing up for Jimmy Rockwell now. Right now Rockwell's looking for a way to get back in this match. Hollister, they were making is cocky pins. way too much time here. He is. And he should know better. He's a veteran of the, the game. Oh, drop toe hold. There's a quick escape by Jimmy. Rockwell's badly damaged, but he's got a nice flurry of up. Wow, what an elbow He's there. about to pick up the pace. Leg lariat by Rockwell. And this is where we see Rockwell at his best. Rockwell. How does Hollister hold off this charge? Oh. The comic book enthusiast showing some of his superpowers right now. Oh! Yeah, up and over. He was going out for that sit-out gourd buster, I believe. Up and over goes Hollister. Oh! oh. It's a Geary to the back of the neck. Seen that kick so many times, it can really knock you out. He's on the top rope. Oh, he went for a double stop, I think, Aaron. Look uh -oh. at that. Oh, no. Kryptonite. Oh, wow! An inverted kryptonite crunch at that. Incredible move by Shane Halser. You know, that's a variation of Mark Surley's own disaster piece. Wow. Barely getting his foot on the ropes. I don't know how he would have kicked out of that one. That's about the only way there. Foot on the ropes. He set up that leg. Now, one thing I want to point out is we mentioned how Shane Hollister had a similar surgery to what Jeremy Wyatt recently underwent. Shane Hollister has a steel plate of his own inside his leg. And that really makes his kicks all the more effective. Yeah, he definitely knows how to use it, too. Uh-oh. Big boots to the face by Rocco. Oh, yeah! What a move! What an outstanding move! Well placed there. Picks him up. Oh, oh. in the head. Oh, good night. I think he lost a few teeth. Job. Looking for another one of those. Again. Oh, roll up. And Rockwell wins with the roll up. What a quick victory. That was outstanding. Shane Alster oh. thought he had him. Well, a second attempt at the same move cost him here. Rockwell knew it was coming, and he rolled out just in time. Excellent matchup there. What a win for Jimmy Rockwell. What a win going into gauntlet for the gold here. And there you see it. Rockstar for champion. Nice performance for both men. Shane Hollister is furious. But if he would have taken less time screwing around during parts of that match, maybe he would have won. The other guys, they think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the tea to the Godfather's Specialty Pizza with your name on it.
classic combo, all meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza. It's the biggest wrestling event of the year. July 27th, live in Des Moines, the 3X Wrestling 7th anniversary event. Come celebrate seven great years of 3X Wrestling with some special guest stars. In grudge match action, we have Darren Corbin taking on the rock star Jimmy Rockwell. This match is months in the making. Will Rockwell get his revenge on Corbin? The punk rock icon Tony Sly takes on 3X Wrestling Commissioner Todd Countryman and Genesis teammate Gage Octane in handicap match action. Delicious Devin Carter and fellow Genesis member Nate Bash take on Sir Bradley Charles in a triple threat match. Can he overcome the odds? In 3X Wrestling Tag Team Championship action, the Milan Management Agency with Chad Milan challenge the American Bulldogs for the championship in what should be a wild contest and the renewal of a great 3X Wrestling rivalry. The Bulletproof Tiger Jason Strife takes on Ring of Honor superstar Tony Kazina in his 3X Wrestling debut. Also from Ring of Honor, Kyle O'Reilly takes on the world's fittest wrestler Mark Sterling in a dream match. And speaking of dream matches, for the 3X Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, the professional Benjamin Saylor defends the championship against former Ring of Honor World Champion, Davey Richards, the American Wolf. This should be a true technical classic. You don't want to miss it, folks. 3X Wrestling 7th Anniversary Event Live. July 27th, Baradas at Forte Coliseum in Des Moines. Visit 3xwrestling.com right now for more ticket information. Are you into WWE or 3X Wrestling? Then we have the place for you to hang out every Monday night and Sunday WWE pay-per-view events monthly. The Keg Stand in West Des Moines at 3530 West Town Parkway. Every Monday night, you can hang out with 3X Wrestling staff and wrestlers while we watch Monday Night Raw, plus the monthly WWE pay-per-view events, including WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, and more. Friend 3X Wrestling and The Keg Stand on Facebook, and we'll keep you updated. See you at The Keg Stand for wrestling, drinks, and great food from Bach Catering. This should be a good one. This is another open challenge situation. We combined weight of 460 pounds. The Omaha Chainsaw, S.M. King, and Mitch Black. Play. Black, final contender. Look at this SM King. What a huge man. Did you know anything about this hall, dude? Uh, it's the first time I heard of it. I mean, you're as close as you could possibly even come to associating with Mitch Black. Uh, I have not seen him around all day. West. Just thought I had to get that in there. This crowd is so loud I can't hear a word you're saying right now. I love it. Skyler Pierce, manager of champions. Skyler Pierce sees how serious the challenge is before him tonight. Free of a Pepsi can, no pop in hand. Fisting Pepsi all afternoon long. And this is the fourth defense for our champion. And they literally take on all comers. Oh, last night there was a great match. They beat the beautiful bodies and Derek Cornell and That Ryan was a Dodd. tremendous match of the beautiful bodies and grinds at Governor's Days. Great debut in 3XW for the Beautiful Bodies. They came up a little bit short, but... An awesome match with the Kentucky Buffet and Grinnell. Absolutely. And they are still embroiled in a rivalry with Darren Corbin, Darren Corbin and Eric Cannon, excuse me. 
And this, depending on the outcome tonight, this could seriously affect the Tag Team Championship match scheduled for Downtown Destruction 4. Yes, can you imagine if Mitch Black and SM King, first time team here at 3X Wrestling, I honestly don't know. Uh, I, they've got to have some sort of history between them. Unless Mitch Black decided he wants to make an impact here at 3X Wrestling in the worst way. We've seen Mitch Black team with Sparrow before, but here he has the larger, menacing figure, the Omaha Chainsaw SM King. Mitch Black has definitely done a great job in cultivating a collection of weirdos. To do well, he does have quite the, quite the friendships cultivating in the dungeon to do, I tell you what. Side headlock applied by SM King, and for McDowell, a rare situation where he does take on a competitor that matches him not just height, but King's got some birth to him, that's for sure. Uh, Look at Mitch Black. I, I can see what kind of use a guy like Mitch Black would have with SM King and some of his uh, more well-known proclivities. Big shoulder block, the largest athlete in 3X Wrestling. 300 pound Mad Dog McDowell. Now John West, who has incredible athleticism, he himself weighs in at about 265 at this point. It's just amazing what he can do leaping off the ropes. Absolutely, that dangerous. Both to him and his opponent. You're never quite sure where it's going to land. You know what, I want to say for both teams, it's very smart as the, it's gotten darker out here in Boone, Iowa. This is an outdoor event. And both teams have decided to wear primarily dark wrestling gear. Uh, that might give them an advantage if it might be tough to see where you're grabbing your opponent depending on the position of your head and on certain holds. Nice drop kick there out of the cartwheel. Nice double team move coming here. Oh, a leg, leg drop. drop! Man, a what? Did you see that? 300 pounds. He was as high as the top rope. That is a new one. These guys, every match, every title defense, they're busting out multiple new double team moves. Almost as big as the Skyler Pierce leg drop. Skyler Pierce does have an incredible leg drop. Headbutt to the lower back there as Mitch Black tried to crawl away. Black in the ropes, wise on his part. We still don't know anything about Mitch Black's training background or his wrestling history. I'm guessing he doesn't have much of either. Inverted atomic drop. Drops Mitch Black hard. Oh, double hip attack. Look at SM King breaks it up just by hits an open handed slap with authority. He says he's got the tag rope. Ooh. Oh, nice forearm smash there. Pushes S or SM King pushes John West in the corner. Nice right hand. I gotta say, the overall quality of the punching in 3X Wrestling, the execution these guys are delivering with, there's been a lot of work done in the gym on those punches. Look at the double team work there by Mitch Black and SM King. They even managed to get Matt Up McDowell distracted as John West fights back. Oh, right into the midsection. Mitch Black tags in. Nice back and forth teamwork here by the duo of Mitch Black and SM King. Mitch Black might be my favorite competitor here. You never know what you're going to get with this Mitch Black. That is for sure. Very unorthodox choke moments ago into a leg drop.
back into the corner. They are working a very smart match here, the team of the uh, Chainsaw Connection. Absolutely. Not that it takes a whole lot to be smarter than John Rice. Oh, come on, Holland. Oh, you know I can't stand this game. One of the top young stars of the Midwest, like John West, holds on. Him and Ray Stryker. Thank Two God for that. This gravel is dangerous as hell. Up and over. This is the, oh, missed the clothesline. Big elbow, though. John West couldn't avoid that. Oh, he almost won the titles right there, Holland. Right in the center of the ring. Chin lock has been applied. He's grinding his knee into the spine of John West. What's he setting up for here? Chop. Oh, chops him to the floor. I like, I like this Omaha chainsaw. This guy's got something. Well, he certainly uses strikes as part of his overall strategy to win matches, that is for sure. This is very smart because you never know when you'll get a knockout shot on a guy. Now pushes him back into his corner again. Tags in Mitch Black. Mitch Black lines him up. Irish whip reversal by John West. Hits the ropes. John West. Body slam, power slam at that. He caught Mitch Black for, well, what happened there? Did he let go of the pin or did Mitch Black get the I, shoulder? I think he forgot to keep covering him. That took a lot out of John West. Was he is completely, he's completely disoriented. Skyler West is checking on him. Or Skyler Pierce, excuse me. In the meantime, McDowell with a flurry of powerful offense. King's in the corner, he's got Mitch Black. Oh, Falcon Arrow by Mad Dog McDowell. Almost dropped him right on his gourd. SM King with the kick to the face. That was a new one from McDowell. King nails him. Look at that, McDowell tried to catch him. But SM King managed to hit him with the this Wait a minute, though. No. SM King needs to pay attention to what's going on in the ring. John West up top. Moonsault misses. Mitch Black gets and out of the right way. This is Mitch Black's opportunity. He could become a champion Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. We're going to see the belts change hands right here. Mitch Black has got to take it. Mitch Black is pounding away. Not going for a pin. What is Mitch Black doing? Uh, he probably ought to turn around pretty quick. He, he should have gone for the cover there. That was just unfortunate on his part. Mitch Black tries to avoid it, does not. Oh, what a neck breaker suplex combination. Yeah, Mitch Black McDowell and John West win this McDowell. contest. Another successful title defense for the American Bulldogs. Yeah. The winners of this match and still three XW Tag Champions. SM King carrying Mitch Black to the back. He's out gold. Good showing by SM King. Very unusual combination, him and Mitch Black. But I don't think that's the last we've seen of Mitch Black for sure in 3X Wrestling. As he just tumps Mitch Black to the floor. Gravel embedded up the spine of Mitch Black. 3X Wrestling has events all over Iowa, and we want you there. Experience the on-site action, visit the 3XW store, and meet the wrestlers, including national and regional favorites, TNA wrestlers, WWF and WWE Hall of Famers, NWA champions, and of course the all-stars of 3X Wrestling.
hours of wrestling entertainment for $15 or less. Monthly TV tapings take place at the Baradas at Forte 3XW Coliseum in downtown Des Moines, the fourth Friday of every month, where doors open at 7 and bell time is 7.30. Check out 3XWrestling.com for more details and to sign up and find out when we're coming to your community. 3X Wrestling, you gotta be there.